Hello everyone. So today I just wanted to do a short video where I'm basically telling you guys that I'm pretty much kind of scrapping my TBR and I'm still going to do an April TBR that'll come out next week because I have some buddy reads and I'm going to try my best to get to these books but I'm just finding myself in this time of anxiety and um, a lot of uncertain things happening that I'm having trouble concentrating on new books physically. Like I can listen to an audio book and do something else, but um, I, sitting down and reading a physical book, I'm just having a really hard time. So I'm just decided I'm scrapping the rest of my March TBR. Like I said, I'm gonna do a short TBR for April that has like my buddy reads and um, my keep read unhaul and scratch off, but I'm gonna give myself a lot of leeway to DNF or just put those books on hold if I can't get to them but I still wanna be reading. Like I still want the comfort of reading. And so what I kind of came up with was to do some rereads, pick up books that I know I love, that I don't have to concentrate on with my full brain. Because let me just tell you, I've been reading these two books. These are two new books that I'm reading. I'm like barely into these books and I've been reading them for a week, a week. And I'm like, just, I put them down. I read like half a chapter and I put them down. So yeah, not able to focus, but like, comfort rereads, ones that I've like, you know, are just kind of chill rereads. I feel like that's where it's at right now, where I can let my wine wander if I need to, but I won't miss something new in the book or whatever. So that's what I'm going for. I also got this idea from Princess from the Castle Library. I'll link her channel below. She's great. And she was talking about wanting to do a whole month of rereading. And that kind of sparked this idea of like, oh, that's a great idea for right now. And I'm not gonna limit to a to one month. I'm just saying, I'm gonna start doing this now and we'll just see how long I'm rereading these books for because I've got a big stack, but they're all ones. I'm just super excited to look forward to some comfort reads that I don't have to worry about if I put it down for a long time that I forget something since I've already read it. I can just take my time. I don't have to put my whole brain power into it. It'll just be so comforting. So if you also feel like doing this idea, great. Let me know what you want to read down below. So let me just go over a few of the books and a lot of these are series. So I just want to binge some series that I love, like series that I've read before and enjoyed. I just really want to revisit those worlds and feel the comfort of being in those worlds. So first of all, I have been talking for a while that I want to reread the Lunar Chronicles and I've been slowly collecting them. And in since I have my time of social distancing, I went ahead and bought the rest of the series. So that should be coming in sometime soon. Um, you know, deliveries are kind of being extended time. So I have the first couple books already and then the next ones will be coming in the mail sometime in the next few weeks. And so I'm going to reread this whole series. I had listened to it on audiobook the first time, so I'm excited to be reading them physically this time. And they're just so fluffy with, they're very romance heavy and you know, very basic sci-fi. So it's not like too science-y. I can just fly through this book and that'll make me happy to see the couples again that I really enjoyed. And it'll just be a really nice, easy, fluffy read. Um, another series that I think I'm going to keep, keep rereading is Harry Potter. I had read book one last year and I want to just fly through the rest of these books because obviously since I've read them many times, I do not have to put a lot of concentration on them. Even if I only read one chapter and then put it down for a week, I'll know where I need to pick it back up. So yes, I'll be doing my reread of Harry Potter hopefully soon. One that I'm a little nervous about because of the content, but I really do want to reread it is the Illuminae Files. And the only reason I say the content is because, oh, I lost one, is that I know in the first one, there is a virus going around. So maybe that's not the best one to read at this time. I'm going to see because since it's fictional and it's like definitely like super sci-fi and nothing like the virus we're dealing with, I think that it'll be fine to reread it. But I think it'll be fun to do these because I haven't read these in about, I don't know, at least the first one I haven't read in like three years or something like that. So I am excited to get to those. Um, one that's going to be a really nice comfort read is The Two Princesses of Bamar by Gail Carson Levine. And this is a middle grade or low YA, I, I would call it a middle grade novel about two sisters and them um, trying to save their kingdom and all that. And it was just a, such a good book the first time I read it. And I wanted to read, I actually had on my March TBR, the prequel to this. And I just 
don't think I can concentrate on that prequel. So I thought I'll reread this and then maybe that'll inspire me to pick up the prequel while I'm already in this world. So it kind of has a dual purpose. One that was actually already on my um, booktube rereadathon TBR for April is Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen. This is just like a women's fiction kind of romance with a lot of family stuff going on. There's a little bit of magic and just a very comforting read. There's also a sequel. So if I read this and I feel like continuing to be with this family, I will go on and read the sequel. And then a book that I read, oops, a long time ago and haven't read in a long time is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And I had talked about this book recently in a video, I don't remember, it might've been one of my like looking past over the past like 10 years or something like that. And I just remember loving this book when I read it before, but that was so long ago. But I know it's gonna be, you know, it's just pure fluff. Like it's not anything hard to read. I mean, I know that like it's a very heavy romance sci-fi. So just like the Lunar Chronicles, I think that's just what I need. Because when I tried to read like fantasy with like names and kingdoms and politics. It was just too much for my brain. This will not be too much for my brain. So I think I'm gonna pick that up and just give myself like kind of like a guilty pleasure read. And the last one is The Hunger Games, which is upside down. I bought this this um, box set a couple years ago and I've never read from the box set. So I'm kind of excited. I've actually never read this book physically because The Hunger Games series was the first book I ever bought on my Kindle when I got my Kindle, I don't know, what was that, 10 years ago? And so I always read it on my Kindle since I already owned it on that. And so I've never read the physical version. So I'm excited to have this nice box set and read these. And part of the reason I want to reread these is because of the, of the prequel coming out. Who knows if I'll get to that because with the libraries closed, I'm sure there's going to be a a longer wait for the ebook version of that one, um, but I can at least dive back into the original series. I'm sure these are like blinding you with their shininess. So yeah, so those are all the like series I wanna binge, other books that I wanna reread to just give myself some comfort, easy reads. Cause like, I still wanna sit down and read. Like it still is something that just comforts me to sit down with my tea and read but it's just too much for my brain right now to have new worlds, new people to focus on. So if you are thinking about joining this too, I, you know, I'm doing this for the next couple months. I know Princess said she'll be doing it sometime either April or May, she's planning on doing it. I'll link that video where she talks about her reread. So go ahead and check out her video in case you wanna participate with her. And if you have any books you're really exciting to reread, let me know down below. I'd love to talk to you. Thanks, bye.